from the 1.3 billion youth population in Africa, according to data from worldometer.info. UNESCO confirms that 263 million children are out of school. This is the focus of the 2019 International Day for the Girl Child, which is empowering girls for a brighter future. My prayer is that one day Africa will get to that stage where every girl child will be educated because to empower a nation, you need a girl child to be educated. If you look at what is happening to a girl child now, they are able to compete for every other position a male child they compete for. And unlike before where erroneously we believe that their position is in the kitchen, now you see them more in public offices. And we have example even here in Nigeria and some other countries in Africa where you have some of them even going as far as becoming the president of a country. So I, I think gradually we are getting there. Until the mindset of leaders begin to change, particularly our male leaders towards the girl child, um, it will be very, very difficult for Africa as a continent to actually attain their full potential. Does it have to have the right thing actually? What form of education is required to empower the girl child? Apart from the academic part of education, schools are now infusing skills. Um, so as they are doing the academics, they are also acquiring skills, and there are a lot of skills for the student to acquire. The kind of education that bring out their creativity, that make them critical thinkers, that in any way they find themselves, they are able to, to cope with the, no matter the pressure society throws at them. I think the first thing that the girl child needs is to understand that she's relevant, she's important, she's not a baby factory. She's a human being given the same intellect that the male child has. Does Africa have enough STEM teachers to empower the next generation? We've been doing a lot of things on engineering. We still from here take from science, um, take from math. But now there's a structure for STEM and um, more teachers are now evolving, coming out to say they are STEM coordinators or STEM teachers, they specialize in STEM, which is a fantastic development and um, a welcome development too. I would say no, because um, unlike in Europe or in the West, where a class teacher should be able to take the class on STEM activity, we still have, we've not achieved that here, because maybe in an old school you only have one professional that is taking STEM in, in the whole of the school. So with that, I, I, I don't think we are there. I considered us to be a STEM school because we did a lot of project-based science. But when I went to America, I understood that STEM, even though it's project-based, is actually pupil-led. You know, it's about the children pulling up the solutions, the, the problems and the solutions for it. It's you don't suggest anything to them. A lot has been achieved, but there definitely is more to be done. And the critical sphere of achieving this is education. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics must be made attractive if this will be achieved in the near future. Nasser Afolabi Agbalaya, News Central.